Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are keeping well. In today's video, I'm going to recreate this look of Hina Khan that she wore to some award function. It's a beautiful and a very, you know, neutral and a very simple makeup look that she wore with this beautiful hot pink suit. And I'm going to recreate that. I'm just not wearing a bun like her because I like to keep my hair loose with suits. And uh, I'm going to recreate the exact makeup look just like hers in today's video. Also, in today's video, I'm supposed to be announcing the winner of my Diwali giveaway. So please stay tuned till the end of this video to know the winner of the giveaway. And yeah, let's get started with today's video. I'm going to first start off with prepping my face. And for that, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Uh, if you look up close to her picture, she has a very nice and almost a mattified base. She does not have a very dewy or a glowy base. So I'm going to keep my base makeup really nice and satiny. I'm just taking out two pumps of it and I'm applying it all over my face to give a nice slip to my skin after my skin care for the rest of the makeup to lay beautifully on top of. For color correcting, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector and just a tiny bit of it on my under eyes and around my mouth area where I have the most darkness and pigmentation. For the foundation today, I'm taking my Lancome Tainted All Ultra Wear Foundation and I use it in the shade 045 Sable Beige and I absolutely love this foundation. It's more of a medium to a fuller coverage foundation and it blends out like a dream. Even after being a fuller coverage foundation, it's super lightweight on the skin and just looks like your skin but better. And I absolutely love the finish that this foundation gives to my face. Next up for my concealer again from Lancome, I'm taking the Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer and I'm applying it just in the usual areas that I like to conceal. This again is a fuller coverage concealer so make sure you apply a very small amount of this is more with this less is more with this concealer and I absolutely love this concealer. It's very hydrating on the skin. It does not make your under eyes look dry or cakey and it gives a beautiful beautiful finish to the skin. And next up to set my concealer, I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC25 and I'm using it to set just my concealer with this. Now this again is a cult classic powder and it is for a good reason. It, it gives you a little bit of a coverage and does a beautiful job at you know just setting your makeup in place and uh, it does not look heavy on the skin at all and I absolutely love this powder from MAC. Now before moving forward, I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in my eyebrows off the camera and I'm back. Now coming on to the eyes, I'm going to be using my Dior Backstage Eye Palette in the shade Amber Neutrals and if you look up close at her picture, she has a nice golden neutral eye shadow going on on her eyes with a little bit of brown in the crease and a nice winged eyeliner and on her waterline, she's just wearing a nice burgundy eyeliner. To recreate that, I'm first taking this uh, light golden shade called bronze highlighter and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid up until the crease. It's a pretty light golden metallic shade and uh, it will just recreate exactly what Hina Khan is wearing in the picture. Let me zoom you guys in. Next I'm doing this nice neutral brown and I'm using it in the crease and the outer corner of the eye just to blend everything in. Now to create a nice winged eyeliner, I'm taking my ELF Precision Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black and I'm using it to create a nice winged eyeliner along with my upper 
lashes i really like this eyeliner it gives you a jet black color and it's matte and the applicator on this is really nice it gives you full precision and full control on how thick or how thin you want the eyeliner to be uh, she's not wearing a super thick or a very uh, intensely winged eyeliner but i really just like how precise and how soft her eyeliner is Now she's not wearing any kajal or eyeliner on her uh, low, on her waterline but she is wearing a nice burgundy eyeshadow along with the lower lash and for that I'm taking this nice burgundy shade and I'm using it to just smudge out along with my lower lash line And that is pretty much it for her eye look. I'm going to finish off the eye look with a good coating of mascara and for that I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Love mascara and I'm just loading up my eyelashes with this. Next up to bronze up my face, I'm taking my Glowish by Huda Beauty Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in the shade number 03 and I'm using it to nicely bronze up my entire face. She has a really nice and a very soft bronzer and a neutral blush on her face. She's not wearing a super intense highlighter or anything like that and she has a very 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 fresh base to her face and I'm going to keep my base makeup really light as well. For the blush, I'm taking my Simply Nam Velvet Cream Magic Blush in the shade Rosewood made of Honor. And with my beauty sponge itself, I'm applying it on the apples of my cheeks. It adds a really beautiful and a very natural looking flush of color to the face. And it's a really nice neutral toned blush and it looks beautiful with just any makeup look. And to add the tiniest bit of highlighter, I'm taking my Dose of Colors highlighter in the shade Peach Glow and just the tiniest bit of it on the highest points of my face just for a very 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 soft highlight to the face. And lastly for her lips, she is wearing a really nice neutral pinky brown lip colour and to recreate that I am I'm going to be mixing two shades. One is my Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in the shade Saint and the other one is my Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chi to just lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to first apply the Lime Crime lip colour. It is a nice berry pinkish kind of a shade. And to lighten it up, I'm applying the Colourpop lipstick just in the center of my lips. Now this lip color is almost exactly the same as her and I really love how this lip color looks. I'm going to finish off the look with a plain pink bindi just like hers. And I'm also going to add a beautiful pair of Jumkas to finish the entire makeup look. And yeah guys that is it. This is the final finished makeup look. I really love how this makeup look has turned out. It's super nice, very neutral with just a pop of color on the lips and a colorful bindi. And it looks really nice and very festive and you can wear it for the upcoming festive season or even for any wedding or function or party. And it will look absolutely beautiful on each and every one of you. And the plus one it's super easy and very 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 simple to do as well. I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos. If you do please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel. And now let's get into the giveaway winner announcement. Hi guys wishing you all a very very happy Diwali I'm here to announce the winner of my last giveaway and the winner of my last giveaway is Bindia Agarwal congratulations Bindia and thank you so much for all the efforts that you've made on my channel and to everybody else who did not win this time guys please do not be disheartened as you know I keep on doing regular giveaways on my channel and I have a few more giveaways planned for you guys so please stay tuned to my channel show more of your love and support invite more of your friends and family to my channel and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye bye